I'm coming to you from Armenia. This was the very first recognized Christian nation in the world that started in the year 301 where they accepted Jesus Christ as their savior and where as a country they accepted uh, uh, the, the religion as, of Christianity as their own national religion. And this country, unfortunately, in the United States and many countries is just not known about or it's forgotten. It's not, it's not studied about. But I have to tell you something very important. Right now, this Christian country is under attack. The Azeri people from the country of Azerbaijan launched an attack on Sunday of September 27th. And uh, Turkey has now joined in on that attack by supplying weapons and by doing other things as well. I'm not going to give in details. What I do want to say is that there has been a lot of disinformation on the Azeri and Turkish side. I speak Turkish very well. I lived there for 15 years and I watch the Azeri news and the Turkish news. It's the opposite. It's the absolute opposite of the what's being said around the world. They have their own narrative. They've always had their own narrative. This is parts of the things that I've studied in my life and written about. I, you know, uh, living in Turkey for years, uh, they always said to me when we were talking about the Armenian people, well, they committed a genocide against us. Did you hear what I just said? The Turks said the Ar say, and they're taught that Armenians committed a genocide against them. Now, those that are watching this for the first time, you may not even know that there was something called the Armenian genocide. This was before the Holocaust. There was a genocide of about 1.5 million Armenians. This started in 1950 and continued until about 1923. But they had been killing these Armenian Christians before that. They started in massacres in 1894, all in the lands of what we call Turkey. But uh, it's extended more to the Armenians. They were doing that to the Syriac Christians, to the Greek Christians. And they forced them out of their native lands. And many of them now live in California or France or Canada or Argentina. They're all over the world. Russia, they had to, to leave their lands. And many of them came here to the country of Armenia from uh, Turkey. And But the, the Turks teach an opposite narrative of actually what happened. And in fact, if you go over to Mount Ararat today, which is the province of Udr or Igdir, it's just right uh, over the, uh, the side of where Yerevan is. They actually have a genocide memorial. Can you believe this in Turkey that says these are the um, this is the memorial to all of the, uh, the the Turkish people that were killed in the genocide that the Armenians committed against the Turks. They have it's, it's a warped mind, but I have to say they're they're deceived. They're deceived from their childhood. They don't know any other history. They're, it's really sad. Now, there are some really educated Turks and Azeris that actually know the truth and they've stood against uh, some of the lies and many of them have been exiled because of it or killed because of their views, but that's a minority. Now, the majority have fought on these. What does this have to do today with the war and what's happening? Uh, Turkey is to our, uh, is to our west. Azerbaijan is to our east. If you look at the map right here, this is the map we've got. This is the area that they're fighting and they're fighting right here. If you can talk right now, as I speak, I believe they're bombing um, Hadrut town and Martuni. And they've been uh, up here in Marta Karat. They've been trying to attack these regions of Artsakh and they've been bombing Stepana Karat, using suicide drones, doing all kinds of stuff. They're trying to invade from here and take over. They started the invasion. There is absolutely no reason that Armenia, a population of 3 million people. I'm from Arkansas. We've got 3 million people in Arkansas. They've got about the same population of Arkansas. It's about the, set, the size of the state of Maryland, all of Armenia. And, and they're going to go and attack Azerbaijan, just a, 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 a country of 10 million people, knowing that Turkey is behind Azerbaijan. Turkey is over here. If you can look here to the west, all the way in here, it says Turkey. It's to the west. And here they can attack. And they have 83 million people here. On the other side, 10 million. And all of a sudden, Ar Armenia is going to decide during the COVID virus time, the COVID-19 virus, they're going to just, let's just invade Azerbaijan. That's absolutely ridiculous. Any normal per thinking person would know that's a bunch of lies. What I do know living in Turkey is this. They have always wanted to, and with the Azerbaijanians, have this pan-Turkic idea that they want to unite the Turkic world to make it one united Muslim Turkic world. 
I know type Erdogan wants to bring a type of caliphate back, uh, bringing the this region under uh, uh, Sharia law, under Islamic law, his form, his Turkish form of Islam. And they talk about they talk about this pan Turkism all the time, and the thing that's in their way is Armenia, guys. This is uh, the, the, so you have this issue that's going on right now. And they have this this idea that they're lying about everything that they do, and oh, it's it's overwhelming because um, many, the reason I'm doing this is just to give some history for some of the Westerners that might not know what's going on. So. Uh, they're lying constantly in their news and they're stirring up all these people to, to do these, these really evil things. And the, the thing that doesn't make sense to me is that we still allow Turkey to be an ally and say they're a NATO. Living in Turkey for 15 years, I never once ever heard from the news, the media, from the government that America was some ally. I was like, the full America. I mean, get out of here, America. I heard that constantly. I always heard uh, them on the news, on all the politicians, everybody saying that our number one enemies, this is Turkey saying, our number one enemies are one, America, two, England, three, Germany, and four, somewhere they put Israel in there. And those are our enemies. I'm like, what do you mean enemies? We've got our base there near Adana. We have a military base and you're calling us enemies. And the entire sentiment is that within, I would say, the majority there. They want every, well, us out, but for whatever reason, we stay there and we say that they're our, our, our friends. They're not our friends. I am telling you, they are not our friends. They don't want to be our friends. This is not right. Azerbaijan, it's the same thing. These people, they, they're not our friends. They're not our friends. I tell you who our friends are. Our friends would be the Armenians. They are in a great location. I don't know why we're not strategically partnering with Armenia. To be the truth, we're, they're next. They're, they're right in the center of it all. There are people that we we share same uh, same similar values and culture. We have a, a Christian history that we share. Um, America was founded upon Christian biblical principles. So was this country. I mean, it's even its own alphabet was was created by Mashtot. You can take a look at this beautiful alphabet that uh, that he created. And every word and every letter has to do with something in the Bible. Ah, astfats means God. And then they have the word, uh, the, the last K, K, Christos, for Christ. Everything he did when he developed the alphabet for was for the Bible. The very first sentence written in the Armenian language is actually uh, the, the fear of the Lord's beginning of knowledge is from the, the book of Proverbs. I mean, what an amazing history. We share a great uh, things that are in common with the Armenian people. I, and I'm just... I want people to know that we are, they are attacking Turkey and Armenia and, and Azerbaijan. They are coming in. They're saying the opposite. They're saying Armenia is the aggressor. It's not true. It's never been the case. It wasn't the case that happened uh, this year in July. It's not the case now. They're spreading disinformation. But I really, I, I, I really want people in the States to know that uh, you need to do some research on these things. You need to see what's going on. I'm here in this perspective. I'm going to be all over the country. I'm going to send some more videos about what's going on. We're trying to do all we can to help over here in any way possible. But I, do, I know the information is really, really important. Contact your senators. Contact your congressmen. Let them know what's going on. Let them know that you support Armenia and that the Azeris, the Turks are, are aggressing. They shouldn't be doing this. And, and, and ask them, why are we even partnering with and calling these people allies? Turks and, and, and Azerbaijan, we actually have nothing to do with them. They would have, they don't want to have do anything with us. I can tell you that. And really, all this comes down to religion. I have to be honest. This is my, my, my particular expertise and study is Islam and in uh, Christianity and religions and so forth. And it's a religion of deceit and lies. They, they lie. They can lie to their own people for their purposes. They can lie to anybody for their own purposes. That's just what the, that's what the religion teaches. I'm not going to go into details on, on all these things. You can find this for yourself. And, uh, and I'm telling you, they're stirring up their people to commit a massacre in this region. They are stirring them up. They meaning the Azeri people in government and religious leaders and in the Turkish government and Turkish leaders and Turkish uh, religious leaders. This, Islam is not a religion of peace. I'm sorry, it's a religion of war. It says that in the Quran, it says that in the Hadith, the entire history of Islam was spread by the sword and they want to get rid of this region so they can make their pan-Turkic idealism come to pass. Guys, this is important. 
just contact, do more study. I can give more resources if anybody's interested. Pray for the area of Artsakh right now. Their people here are not wanting to go to fight. They don't want to go and do this, but they have to. They're defending their land. They're defending their families from being overrun by people that would wipe them out just like they did in the Armenian genocide. I'm telling you, I hear the rhetoric from the Turks and the Azeris. They're saying, let's drink their blood. Let's wipe them out. We should have wiped them out completely uh, like we did in the genocide. Let's, let's finish the job now. They're saying disgusting stuff. On the Armenian side, nobody's saying stuff like that. Nobody's saying stuff like that at all. It's like, it's like you've got one side, I'm sorry to say this, acting like animals. And then you have these ones saying, all right, we have to do something to protect ourselves from these wild animals. And that's exactly what it is. It's a David versus Goliath situation. And you all need to be aware of it and what's going on. And um, uh, and I'm praying that the end will be as it was with Goliath, where his head's chopped off. So I'm, God have mercy on these people. God have mercy on, on all the sides. And may the Turks and Azeris come to their senses and the truth and stop this nonsense and stop listening to the father of all lies, which is Satan, who wants to kill, steal, and destroy. So uh, thank you for listening.